proposed resolution to the United Nations General Assembly, the International Filibuster for Peace. The General Assembly, recalling its resolution 3667 of the 30th of November, 1981, by which it declared that the third Tuesday of September, the opening day of the regular sessions of the General Assembly, shall be officially proclaimed and observed as International Day of Peace and shall be devoted to commemorating and strengthening the ideals of peace, both within and among all nations and peoples, recalling also its other relevant resolutions, including Resolution 5514 of the 3rd of November 2000, reaffirming the contribution that the observance and celebration of the International Day of Peace makes in strengthening the ideals of peace and alleviating tensions and causes of conflict, considering the unique opportunity it offers for a cessation of violence and conflict throughout the world, and the related importance of achieving the broadest possible awareness and observance of the International Day of Peace among the global community, desiring to, for the first time, actually achieve the objectives of the International Day of Peace, September 21st of each year, one, decides that, with effect from this current session of the General Assembly, an international filibuster for peace shall be observed commencing on July 8th of each year and ending on the 21st of September each year, with this event to be brought to the attention of all people for the celebration and observance of peace. Two, declares that each country in the United Nations General Assembly shall henceforth be designated and observe a specific day of national ceasefire and nonviolence between July 8th and September 20th of each year. Three, decides that three countries in different time zones will celebrate and broadcast an eight-hour celebrations of said ceasefire each day from July 8th to September 13th each year. Four, decides that a committee of the United Nations General Assembly will strategically and tactically front-loading the individual nation's day of ceasefire with the nations who are not currently engaging in warfare within their borders. Five, declares that every September 14th will be a day of ceasefire for every nation in Antarctica, September 15th for every country in North America, September 16th for every nation in Australia, September 17th for every country in Europe, September 18th for every nation in South America, September 19th for every nation in Asia, and September 20th for every nation in Africa, with all countries continuing to observe the United Nations Resolution 3667 of the 30th of November, 1981, for a global day of ceasefire on September 21st, 6. Declares that in order to make the international filibuster for peace actually come to fruition, the United Nations will seek the aid and support of international NGOs and corporations to sponsor the international filibuster for peace. Seven, declares it will seek the aid and assistance of international platforms of social media, including Facebook, YouTube, Snapchat, as well as traditional media to promote, enhance, and become a part of the international filibuster of peace from July 8th to September 21st of each year. Eight invites all member states, organizations of the United Nations system, regional and non-governmental organizations and individuals to commemorate in an appropriate manner the international filibuster for peace. Through education, public awareness, and participation to cooperate with the United Nations in the establishment of the international filibuster for peace, ending with a global ceasefire. This resolution is actionable immediately with the passage of the Peacecraft.US resolution by this current session of the General Assembly Congress. Contact them, trust me, wait until you see the alternate reality game. Because the global pandemic brought QR codes into common use and because AI has become so exponentially more efficient, I hope you will not mistake my non-human presentation. This voice was typed in, and it is just a made-up video of me. I wasn't even there. Seriously, I am not anonymous, but I'd like to anonymously bring a moment of peace to this earth. Read the extended plan, and the calendar is all set. Let's do this. Bono, are you tired? Midjury board? Springsteen? $500 million? Are you nuts? I know he's ready. 
Let's put this show on the road and start helping. The plan is simple, and it will work one day at a time. That's how you bring peace. The Peacecraft.us resolution is seeking sponsor nations. Please find a nation that will sponsor this resolution and share it like the wind, like Jimi Hendrix win. Peace anonymously yours.